Hello and welcome to the Henry Stickmin collection. I'm not too sure what this is about, but on Steam it has very positive reviews. I think it might be like a collection of Henry Stickmin games, which may have been Flash games back in the day, or I'm not too sure, something like that. It seems like that sort of style of game anyway. But anyway, this is the prologue, Breaking the Bank. Let's get into it, see what this is all about. So we got a bank in the middle of the desert. We got this fella, maybe this is Henry Stickmin. Shovel, explosives, teleporter, laser, wrecking ball, disguise. And we've got to choose one of these. I mean, surely a teleporter might work. Hopefully. Oh no. Okay, this has put us in the wall. I don't know if this is a... Uh, well, we got one fail. I guess we retry. I'm not sure if this is a um, a great game as a video. I don't. But honestly, I don't. I didn't know what this is about. I guess we just pick each of these things, and eventually one of them will get him through. So now he's using a wrecking ball to knock that. Oh, okay, the police uh wondering what's up with us, and we are going back. Okay. So then we use a shovel and try and dig in. Can't go wrong with a shovel. And he's a gas main. Oh, and he's... <laughs> yeah, you strike a gas main and you decide to uh, light your lighter to, to <laughs> see what it is. Great idea, mate. Okay, well, explosives, why not? I know there's a gas main right underneath the ground, but what could go wrong with us? Okay. Surely we, we could have got lucky. Um, maybe we went to use the skies, but we we'll use the laser. Is that going to work? Oh, it's going to land on him, right? Yep. Wow. Well, we got all the fails. So, we we'll just use the skies. Disguise ourselves as a bag of cash. Okay. You ever wonder why there's a bank out here? Well, I think it's supposed to be like more of a vault, you know? Oh, that makes sense. You know, I actually paid quite a lot of money for this. I think it was like £12. So I was hoping it was going to be something more substantial. I mean, I'm saying that based on the very first uh, level. But, yeah, we'll see. Well, we got in the bank and we got caught. Alright, story begins, apparently. Let's go next. So we broke into the bank and we got sent to prison. Sort of like prison break. Maybe our brother's in here. And we have to try and break him out. You're free to go. We're free to go? Okay, no we're not. He's laughing. <laughs> okay. Don't get your hopes up. We've already checked it for anything useful, haven't we, Dave? What? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> of course I checked it. I mean, if huh. I checked it, I'd lose my job. Not only lose my job. <laughs> he definitely didn't check this package. Alright, okay. The birthday cake. <laughs> With a... With a file, an energy drink, a teleporter, a drill, a cell phone, and a rocket launcher. Uh... Well, I feel like the, le the least thing can go wrong with a cell phone, right? Call someone. The attorney, our lawyer. He can get us out. This is looking less like a fail. Witness, please continue your testimony. Okay. I was riding alongside my partner, the armored man, who suddenly spotted a bag on the side of the road. Got out and eventually decided to throw the bag in with the other. We didn't know there was someone hiding in there. Objection! So, the defendant crawled into that bag in order to break into the bank. Is that correct? Is it not obvious? Is it really that obvious? I have proof that the defendant didn't hide himself in that bag. Well then, what are you waiting for? Present this evidence already. Okay, I've got to give evidence. Oh no. Well, I feel like the cell phone was the right option then for the breaking out of prison. Um... 
So I think this sort of game you want to go back and try and see what the other fails are if you're interested in that. Uh, I don't know what's going to prove that I didn't hide in the bag. Maybe a doctor's analysis? Doctor's examination of defendant done after arrest. Defendant suffered many bruises and cuts. Okay, present this one. Take that. What is this? It's evidence. And how exactly does this prove anything? Uh, well, I... <laughs> I was just kidding. Let me... <coughs> this is no time for jokes. I see no reason to further prolong this trial. Oh no. I find the defendant, Henry Stickman. We're guilty? Oh no. Okay, so, okay, no, we can, uh, I was thought he was going to send us back to the jail. Um, the security footage, that's going to show us going into the the bag, but, let's just, okay, security footage of the night of the intrusion shows the defendant leaving his disguise and setting off the alarm. <laughs> Received from security guard. Received is spelt wrong too. I don't see how this would help us, so let's present this as evidence. Okay, I guess we're gonna have to see this uh, cutscene a few times. We are guilty. Guilty. Alright, floor plan of the bank. How's that gonna help? Diagram of the bank and its surroundings. Sure. <laughs> this is going to get repetitive. I find the defendant, Henry Stickman. Guilty! Mysterious device? A device whose use is unknown. Yeah, why not? What is this? This is going to get repetitive. Okay, well, we've given doctor's analysis, security footage, floor plans of the bank, and mysterious device. Uh, I feel I'm going to leave a disguising bag for last, and that's going to end up being the actual um, answer, but let's just try the, the attorney's badge. It's my all-important badge. It shows I'm a defense attorney. Okay. Take Show him the badge. What is this? This is okay. No so maybe the disguise bag is right. Or maybe maybe we need to find more evidence. Ah, okay. If I just clicked on the bloody uh, each evidence piece and read it, maybe... I could have seen that it says the knot is tied on the outside of the bag, which implies that someone else tied the bag around him. Take that. Is is that the bag the defendant hid in? Yes. Okay. There's one thing that's been bothering me. If the defendant really was hiding in this bag, then how did he tie the knot from the outside of the bag? What? If he was inside the bag, it'd be impossible for him to tie that knot on the outside. But then how did he do it? It's simple. Their eyes are really creepy. What the are you saying? I'm saying my client wasn't hiding that bag at all. He was stuffed in there by this very witness. As you can see by this doctor's analysis, the defendant had taken quite the beating. While he was in the bag, he was unconscious. This is absurd. The witness was attempting to dispose of the body. He left the defendant in the bag knowing he'd drive by it on the way back to the bank. When the witness and his partner passed the bag, he convinced his partner to throw the bag in with the others. But, but why would he do that? Why, to dispose of the body, of course. There are millions of bags of money in that bank, and the witness knew it would take a long time before the victim was found. But unfortunately for the witness, his victim woke up and tried to escape from the tomb. He was arrested on the spot, and the witness thought everything was over. But it's come back to haunt him now. You guys can't, you can't, you can't, you can't be happening to me! Nice, wow. Well, that certainly was an interesting trial. However, I am now ready to deliver my verdict. I find the defendant, Henry Stickman. Not guilty. Yeah, boy. We got away with attempted robbery on a bank. Alright. Rank lawyered up. Well, that's the end of this game, I guess. Uh, we got one out of three endings, one out of 18 unique fails. Wow, what does a map show? You can go to the cell, courtroom, 
So, say we're in the cell and we use an energy drink instead. If we don't get the lawyer involved at all, maybe we can get a different ending. So we've had the energy drink. Everything seems to be in slow motion now. We can just walk right out. Dump the guards in the bin. Have a donut. Nice. Okay. Oh no. Are we going to have a heart attack? Oh dear. Energy, side effects, okay. nausea, headaches, rapid heart rate, impossible to stroke and or heart attack. Great. So we did we did escape, but yeah. Well, the teleporter didn't work last time, so maybe it should work this time. Yes. Oh no. Okay. Maybe we'll be good at the teleporter uh, at some point. Maybe a uh, rocket launcher then. You'd think it wouldn't end well, but. Okay, it's going to come back, is it? Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay, well... Okay, let's try to file. Maybe we can file through the bars. Oh, window or cell door. Window looks weaker, it's got a little notch here. Maybe we can uh, get through that one. There we go, we got through. Well, we got out. That's something. So use the file on the door this time. Wow, that's a good file. And your file for these bars. Okay. I had to click and try and get him there. Uh, well, we can try that again. Okay, I meant to click on him. I did click. I think. Yeah, got him. Nice. Is there another one? Got him? Any more? Oh no. Okay. Oh god. Oh, there's a vent. I can use the chair to get up to the vent. Yep. Come on. Uh, well, they're through here, so let's go to the right. We're on the roof. Okay. Rope, cannon, plungers, jetpack, or a parachute. You can parachute off the roof, maybe. I'll deploy it a bit sooner than that, mate. Okay. That's not even a parachute, mate. Okay. Well, I was going to say we almost survived there, but. Um, what could go wrong with a jetpack? What? Oh, okay, no. It said fail, but then it worked. We're surely going to die though, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, um, plungers. You can use it to climb down the wall, like this, yeah. We made it. Oh, we actually made it. We made it. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay. Well, it seems like that... Well, there's going to be five of those. So, escaping the prison. There was um, 18 fails, 9 achievements, 38 bios, whatever that means. And the next one, there's actually 40 fails, 10 achievements, 27 bios. So, there's like double the amount of fails. And there's five of these total. So, I was quick to judge on basically the prologue, which is uh, unfair, but um, it seems like there is a lot of content in this game. It's got a lot of replay value going back, finding all the fails, all the different ways out of the scenarios. And there are five different episodes. If you want to see the next one, let me know. But that's all for now. I'll leave the Steam link in the description. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later.